it's so essential y'all to know what the heck is coming out of your account because it's so easy to like swipe the card real quick or to like cash app this real quick or I know a lot of people use Venmo or what's the other one um Zelle people like you it's so easy for money to just move so fast these days but like you gotta look at your account and look at what like where what the heck is my money going to where did I spend it on you got to pay attention or like sometimes you'll forget that like you're paying for something and these people just taking money out of your account and you just don't even pay attention like these people out here robbing you you getting robbed What's up, y'all? You are listening or watching the Quality Cut Life Podcast. So my name is Imani, and we are talking all about Gen Z and millennial issues, things that you probably were never taught that you absolutely, absolutely need to know. Um, and in this episode, we are taking it back, reflecting on episode 43 and 44 with my guy, Che Willis from wealthasajourney.com. Why is this important? Because we all need to know how to handle our money better how to who uses old school word steward our money better so that way we can actually have some money amen amen <laughs> so we're gonna just we are reflecting on that i'm dropping some game on y'all make sure y'all stay tuned and listen to the entire episode because i guarantee you there's some very important stuff that you need to know and just to think about so you can get to this money all right y'all let's get into the show What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Quality Cup Life Podcast. My name is Imani. It's been a minute, I know. Um, but um, shout out to y'all who's who who still here and y'all listening. Y'all like, oh, what's up, Imani? She back. I'm back. I'm still alive. I'm very much alive. Um, a lot's been going on, um, but uh, <laughs> we can talk about that in a second. But um, welcome to the Quality Cup Life Podcast. Uh, my name is Imani, like I said. And here we talk about um, millennial and Gen Z things that you should know, but you probably were never taught, which is totally fine. That's okay. We're here now. And so we're going to talk about it. So uh, see how lies are going on. Quick little update before we get into it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had two. I got two jobs. Apart from this, so it's kind of, you know, a lot going on. I freaking got engaged, which is kind of nuts. Um, I started joining groups at, at my church. And so it's just trying to, like, be more consistent with that and my faith and everything and trying to get right with my job and everything. So it's just it's just kind of been a lot. Um, it's been a lot of driving. It's been a lot. But it's cool, though. We back. We good. Um... But in this episode, it's going to be like a little bit of, re- of a recap for episode 44 and 43 with Che Willis. And so if y'all didn't check out this that episode, watch it and or listen to it, go check it out. So that way what i um, talking about makes more sense. Um, and so I was listening back to both of them and I was trying to think of ways to make what Che was saying a little more um, digestible and tangible because a lot of that stuff that Che said, it was very like simple and very direct. Uh, and I'm sure it could fly over a lot of people's heads, um, but I've had a couple months to really process it and stuff like that. And uh, with my own finest, I'm like, yo, Che was not lying. Like <laughs> it's real out here. And so I just wanted to just drop a couple things that I think will be helpful for for you guys to like really process and like turn over in your head and then apply it because we don't want to be just listening and stuff. We want to make our lives do things to make our lives uh, better quality. So, um, so Che, what Che does is he helps people. He helps families and um, people with their budget so that way they can improve their own quality of life. And he teaches people how to like um, budgeting, meaning telling your money where to go so that way you can reach whatever your financial goals are, whether that's to retire early or to uh, start business, to pay off your house car, 
set your kids up, whatever the case is for future, for the future. And so for that, you have to think future tips instead of just right now, which most people think about just right now and which is totally understandable because if there's a fire right now it's hard to think about the future you try to figure out how to put the fire out but sometimes the best way to put the fire out is to think about what will put the fire out now but also save your kitchen in the future type thing I don't know if that analogy makes any type of sense but um but yeah so I was thinking I'm gonna start with the first thing I was thinking was there's three things. This is me now. This isn't what Jay says. So um, there's three things I was thinking of that is the purpose of money. Um, so one of the things is to maintain and or improve the quality of your life. The second thing is to invest in your future. Um, and then the third thing is in the future of others by way of giving. But the problem comes in when there is a lack of balance for an extended amount of time. So if you give too much, but you're not uh, maintaining your lifestyle, improving your lifestyle, or investing in the future, that's bad. Because if you give away, example, quality cup life, the tagline is pouring into your own cup first. Because if you give everything to everybody else and you give and you set up nothing for yourself, you're going to run out. You're going to burn out. It's not going to be pretty. And so... Um, and then vice versa for all the other things, if you maintain, or not in maintain, but if you improve your quality of life so much to the point where you don't invest any money, you don't give, then like you're going to outspend, and you're going to have nothing, you're going to have nothing for the future. You don't want to be one of those, no shade, you don't want to be one of those people who working at Walmart in their 80s. Like you just don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Dog, there's this lady at... God bless her. She got to be 80 something. I work I haven't worked at in what? 6 years. She was in her 70s when I was there with her. When I first started there, she was there. And then I went there a couple probably like a month ago and she's still there. Bless her heart. She's still there. So, I don't want to do that. And I don't want that for y'all either. Um so the next thing I wanted to mention was ah when Che does when Che does the budget and he talks about budgeting, he talks about for a month. And so that thing hit me real crazy, right? So I'm used to doing like a budget. I'll write write out my expenses and what I expect to pay for and like where how much money do I want to spend on food, how much money do I need for gas, like how much money do I or gonna be allocated towards bills, um, just stuff like okay, do how much money do I want to put in savings, like if I like stuff like that. I'll do that per pay period, but that joint hit me crazy when I did it for the month, and I was like, "Yo, you have, you're, you should have like so much. You should have. I think I saw like I'm supposed to have like five hundred extra dollars in a month. And I'm like, where did this five hundred dollars come from? Because I didn't see it. Like <laughs> when I did that budget for the month, I saw five hundred dollars, and I don't know if it's a mind trick or what, but like when I do it per like check. For two weeks, I was like, dang. And then I thought about, well, okay, if I'm supposed to have 500 extra dollars after I take care of my needed expenses, what the heck did I spend that money on? But I was like, oh, yeah, you were not preparing for nothing. You was hitting. And because I was being, I was unprepared and just all over the place, I wasn't packing nothing. I wasn't eating before I was rushing out the house. So that money was, I was hitting Starbucks. Um, uh, cause I was just exhausted. It was just horrible. Like I was just hitting Starbucks. Even I was just like, all right, I ain't going to do no specialty drinks. I'm going to hit the black coffee, black coffee. Y'all just to get a black cup of coffee is freaking $2 and 96 cents. Like I'm like, bro, like girl, if you just prepare beforehand, like you're going to be good. So I recommend y'all do a budget for the month to see how much money you're supposed to have extra and then just kind of do test runs don't put too much pressure on yourself but just do test runs and see how much money do I actually need okay I'm supposed to have this much money left where the heck is this money going so Che is the truth for sure he's the truth the next thing um I wanted to mention that I thought about after listening to the episodes back is um, goes again with the whole budgeting thing is 
it's so essential, y'all, to know what the heck is coming out of your account. Because it's so easy to, like, swipe the card real quick or to, like, cash app this real quick. Or I know a lot of people use Venmo or what's the other one? Um, Zelle. People like you. It's so easy for money to just move so fast these days. But, like, you got to look at your account and look at what, like, where, what the heck is my money going to? Where did I spend it on? You got to pay attention. Or, like, sometimes you'll forget that, like, you're paying for something. And these people just taking money out of your account and you just don't even pay attention. Like, these people out here robbing you. You getting robbed. (laughs) You getting robbed. It's hard enough out here. Inflation is inflating. Y'all don't get robbed. Check your account on a daily. Check your account. You might be robbing you and you don't even know it. The bank could be robbing you with these extra charges. It's crazy. So check your stuff, bro. Check your check your stuff. One thing that saved me a lot was y'all shut down the overdraft fees. Oh man, bruh. If the money ain't there, they need to like I had to I had to like call my bank and ask for it's crazy. I had to call my bank and ask talk to like um this representative and she put me on hold to get permission to turn my overdraft fees. I'm like, how you, how do I need permission to turn off the overdraft fees? Like if the money ain't there, <laughs> if the money ain't there, why do y'all need 36 extra dollars? Cut it off, cut it off. And because I cut off the overdraft fees and I only am paying for what I need instead of just a bunch of extra crap, like, I'm be able to like save up and stack up more money now because I cut it off. So y'all cut cut it cut it off. <laughs> cut it off. All right. Woo. All right, the next thing um Che talked about the um emergency fund and for me I'd be tripping out cuz I'd be annoyed that it seems like okay, I'm stacking up my money but like things keep breaking or things need this I got like this needs to pay for the plumber needs to be called the oil needs to be changed my car needs this tires this is like oh my goodness came like can I keep my money but <laughs> but it's cool like it's normal it's cool fix your stuff take care of your stuff like it's cool it's a blessing to even have the money to even fix or take care of anything so instead of being pissed <laughs> That you have to, or just, or freaking out, or being upset, or whatever, that you have to fix stuff. It's a blessing to even be able to do that. It's a, it's a whole blessing to get a tire is a blessing. To get two tires is a blessing. To call the plumber and pay them is a blessing. So just kind of like chill on that stuff. Be mindful. Do your best to save up, but just don't freak out about that stuff. I just wanted to run that by y'all because I had to get myself, my, I had to be gathered with that so if I had to be gathered with that I bet some of y'all have to be gathered sometimes with that as well because it can be upsetting or annoying sometimes when um when that happens so it's okay I got y'all I got you the next thing that I wanted to say was it might just be a mind trick thing and it might not be necessary for all of you, but some of you, it might be a good idea to have a separate account that you don't see that often, that a portion of your check goes to that account. Because check me out, y'all. New me, new glasses. Who is this? Who are you? Who are y'all? I'm feeling brand new. Got my new glasses. So, um, and I was able to get these new glasses because I had money automatically going to another account. And I know that may be something that y'all already knew or y'all already did, but like, I never thought about doing that. I never done that until like just a few months ago. I was like, yo, you can do that. You can do that. And like, you don't even have to think about it. It's just, it just goes there automatically. You don't even, it's not even a thing. So, um, and then, of course, you don't just not check it at all. Check it, like, sometimes, but you don't have to, like, don't, you don't have to check it as often as you do your, like, main checking account. Um, I don't know. It just, it works for me. So, it works for me. The next thing, um, that really helped me, and I thought about it after listening back to those episodes with Mr. Che Willis, um was 
um, Che mentioned consistency and and it made me think about uh, E.T. Eric Thomas used to say in his um, when he was still doing Thank God is Monday videos, TGIM. He used to say, I think one of the things he used to say was uh, repetition deepens the impression. And so, of course, repetition and consistency goes hand in hand, right? And so, if you do something one, like if you, let me use an, an analogy so y'all feel me. If you, like, um, if y'all try to chop a tree, y'all, what's my man's name? Um, what's the dude, what's the character's name? That's That was a lumberjack. I can't remember his, the uh, shoot, I can't remember the character's name. I don't know. Y'all tell me what 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 the name of, what the name of the lumberjack character is, is. But if you whack that tree one time, like you're not about to, you ain't about to do nothing with with one hit. Especially if you like my size, like me hitting, me taking an axe. If I can even lift an axe, me hitting it one time, not about to do nothing to a tree. Like that tree about to be like, oh, okay, we didn't feel that. But like. If you consistently hit that tree in the same spot, you're going to deepen the impression until the tree dies and falls over. Like, But if you hit it once, what is that going to do? It's, gonna, it's not going to do anything. So if you don't consistently save your money, if you don't consistently, consistently look at your account, if you don't consistently um, do a budget for yourself, you don't consistently... Um, if you're able to like begin to save for retirement or just kind of be more strategic about retirement, I know it's hard for uh for us to think about retirement because we feel like yo I'm still youthful like retirement seems like it's so far away, but if you don't do it like you gonna be screwed guys like you don't want, <laughs> we gonna be in trouble because retirement it looks further and further away social security may not exist in five years like. It ain't the same as our parents when they was out here, you know what I'm saying? Or our grandparents when they were out here. It ain't the same. So, like, thinking about the future is so important, y'all. So, uh, and that's just not with money. That's with anything. With your health, if you ain't consistent about exercising, if you're not consistent about paying attention to what you put in your mouth, like, if you, like, if you don't think about that stuff, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to be in trouble. So we don't want to do that though, um, but yeah. Um, and just to, as a sidebar, I hope what I'm saying makes sense and it's helpful, cause y'all, this stuff bless my soul. Even if it's something for you to think about, I I really hope and pray that y'all will think about it and like put it into practice. Y'all I ain't gonna lie. I was just thinking about this thing, and uh, I wrote it down. So I'm gonna read it to y'all real quick. I was just thinking like y'all is crazy. That, like, we really, like, we really out here, y'all my people, y'all, we really out here trying to live, like, good, um, what's the word? I don't want to say noble isn't the word I want to use, but we trying to be out here trying to be good citizens. And we really letting people doing illegal activities and people trying to, like, milk the system or, like, um scamming and out and like stuff like that we really like letting them pass us by putting in more effort doing the, those activities they out here just putting in work effort they planning they networking they persistent they consistent and then look here we are just i mean just because you being a noble citizen Ain't no, ain't no merit in that. I mean, there's merit as far as, like, morally, there's merit. But, like, ain't no merit in, like, you not getting no further. Your cup ain't being filled. Like, we just out here letting people outwork us. You letting, you letting my man on the corner selling, <laughs> selling, um, what's, what's hot now in the street? Selling fentanyl and selling, um, what do people say? Perks and all that, all this other stuff. My man out here hustling and getting money, and we be out here being lazy, like, and just barely. We sitting in jobs we hate. We, we like, spending all our money on, like, entertainment and Netflix and um, freaking 
clubbing and like drinks and stuff like that. Like if you want to do that, that's your thing. But you don't spend all your money and you broke it. I mean, you feel me? Like that's your. It's crazy. Like people really out here just passing us by on some illegal stuff, and we just out here being like. It's going to get you into heaven, you know what I'm saying, be it on your moral stuff. But if you ain't about your business, if you ain't about your paper, if you ain't about your, uh, like, taking care of yourself, if you ain't thinking about the future, you if you ain't getting active, and I don't mean, like, like burning yourself out like I do sometimes. I don't mean like that. But just being intentional about your stuff, if you ain't getting active, like, you really just, you, you just, just stop. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> That's all I want to say. Just don't let people just 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 outdo you, bro. Especially people doing illegal stuff. Like they people who doing that illegal activity that are doing it successfully. Honestly, like this might sound bad, but we could learn something from them. I ain't gonna lie. But um, if y'all hear that, I'm scratching my foot because it's itchy. But anyways, <laughs> this mic picks up literally everything. But anyway, um, the next thing I wanted to say is that um, as far as money is concerned, again, since we're talking about episode 43 and 44, um, I think it's very essential for us to look at, me and Che talked about environment, is to look at things in your environment um, and look at what you're proud of. Um, or like, like either growing up or your environment right now, look at the things that you were proud of that did like that you got really great things out of and that made you a really great person, like the positive stuff I mean, and, and like those things that you want to repeat and you like, you know what, if this could be like it, how it was when I grew up, or if this could be like in the future, how it is now, that'd be awesome. Pay attention to those things. Um. And then also pay attention to the things that you don't want to repeat. And like intent, even if you don't know how to not repeat them, like take the time to really think about it, process it and work on how do I not repeat these things? Um, Because again, since if you, since we weren't taught a lot of these things, you don't, you, you're a little oblivious a little bit, but just because, but like being oblivious isn't an, an excuse anymore. Um, just for an example, you got this podcast that you watching or listening to, you got the rest of every Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Google, the library, people don't do the library like that no more, but you know what I'm saying? There's courses, there's everything out here. So there's not an excuse anymore for you to just kind of you know, let your, 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 you know what I'm saying, your life, I don't want to say your life go up in flames, because that's extreme, but just, you know, that's not an excuse for you to be neglectful about certain things, I was just thinking about this, um, too, is that I just think it's kind of wild and crazy how nowadays it's completely normal for us to drop 800 to like $1,500, on a toy and when I say a toy I mean like tablets or like phones and I say it's crazy because most of us use our phones primarily as a form of entertainment most of us aren't like primarily using it to communicate with people to talk to people we not use it it's not making us no money or anything like that we just watching, we scrolling on social media, we're, we watching YouTube, we doing this and that, which is cool, ain't nothing wrong with entertainment, like, entertainment is, is great, it brings joy to our lives, that's cool, but, like, just, just keeping it 1,000, if you, if you making, if you don't at least make the freaking U.S. average salary, you don't need a, a thousand dollar phone you don't need it you can get one that's a lot cheaper that's still nice and like you don't like to me because when I was growing up ain't no ain't no way you spending that much on a freaking form of entertainment people weren't even spending that much money on tvs and tvs was was the primary form of entertainment at that time when nobody spent no especially if you, you know what I'm saying 
you lower middle class, like you middle class or lower, you're not spending no eight hundred dollars on no TV, dog. Like it's crazy. Um, I just it blows my mind that people have kids have iPads. I'm like, bro, like your baby is playing with eight hundred dollars and they be breaking it too. Kids break it too, and their parents get get them a whole another eight hundred dollar tag. It be blowing my mind. It's blowing my mind for sure. All right. I'm trying to be quick because I don't want to hold y'all day. Uh, and my camera is like, all right, you don't, you got you got to pay attention this time though. Um, the next thing is, um, Che mentioned that this guy from his church was talking about him and his wife pay for their house and their car. Um, and I'm going to try, not try, I'm pretty sure Che will be down to get, I'm going to get Che back on here to maybe like expound upon some of the things, but I mean, that sounds like far from what we can a lot of times imagine or picture, but can you imagine what that means for them? House payments, depending on like what type of house you get, your house payment could be maybe $1,500 house payment could be if that's like on the lower end of houses your house payment could be two not payment what's it called the word is mortgage two thousand three thousand imagine if you had three if you had three hundred not three hundred lord what's the thing called three thousand dollars left sitting in your account every month or car payments i think the average car payment these days is like five to six hundred dollars imagine if you had extra five hundred six hundred dollars in your account what, what could you do with that like what what could you do with that? That's crazy. Um, and so just thinking about how that would feel to have that much money that you don't have to spend on a payment is kind of crazy. And so um that just mean it means so much. And I'm not saying that's the route that you have to go because you could do whatever the heck you want to do. <laughs> but like can you just imagine how you could just be like <sighs> how much you could breathe, like how much less stressful things could be. Um, and so if you could just, 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 just think about that, about what in your life that you could either just pay down or knock out or whatever that would just give you extra peace of mind, extra money. Like what that means? Is that a trip? Is that can you upgrade a trip? Can you do something for your mom and them? Can you, like, like, could you get out of one job and take another job and that might pay you a little bit less, but it's more, it brings you more joy? Like, what could you do with that? Um, and so I just want y'all to think about that. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to say was y'all, is y'all, like, being I got a little bit more. Yeah, I got time. Y'all being passive on stuff is so crazy because like being passive and expecting things to fix themselves or um, just being neglectful about certain things. Y'all life will literally fly past y'all. Y'all blink and life passed you by and you still in the same position or worse. Like. And I ain't trying to beat y'all up with this (laughs) with this information but it's just crazy to just think about it and just see it and you can just kind of really see if you better just just pay attention and you just drive through neighborhoods and you just see um examples of people who are passive in their life and how life just passed them by or um being passive in your health and like health them passed you by and you like put on all this weight and now you have these additional health problems or you like breathing heavy when you walk like it's crazy it's crazy like being passive will just I I don't even have the words I don't even have the words I don't have the words but um but yeah I hope something I said was helpful (laughs) today uh, I appreciate y'all ch- uh, tuning into this episode. I'll be back. I ain't, I'm not, uh, I've said this before, but I mean it again. Um, but I am have a habit of overthinking things and be overwhelmed and like trying to over analogy, not analogy, overanalyze things. I'm trying to make things perfect and 
what do I want to say, what do I want to this, that, and the other, but um, I have not done this when I started recording this. It's a lot more chill, relax, like just get into it. And so I just want to say thank y'all. I'm about to run out of time. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. I will catch y'all in two weeks. Thank y'all.